So Louisiana has a very high incarceration rate, the highest in the nation, and a statewide group is on a mission to try and tackle that. Our Perry Robinson has been looking into that for us this evening. Perry, what you got? Hey, Greg, advocates are campaigning for more change in the coming months to help reduce our state's prison population. And that's why they are calling on more lawmakers to join them to address the issue. It's no secret crime remains a big problem in Louisiana. But the rate in which people are sent to prison is an issue one group is trying to fix. We've been stuck in a zombie dance of um, who commits crime and how long they should serve in prison, and that doesn't get us to a place where we're actually safer. The ACLU of Louisiana led a discussion with different experts on criminal justice reform and public safety at Southern University. Leaders say the state has the nation's highest incarceration rate. And despite help from the historic 2017 Justice Reinvestment Package to reduce our prison population, they say more work must be done. We know that there has been an increase in crime and we're not shying away from that. But what we want individuals to know is that there's a way that we can increase public safety without having to resort to criminalization and mass incarceration. Alana Odoms is the executive director of the ACLU. She would like to see lawmakers step up during this session and come up with more laws to address mass incarceration. One thing she is pushing for the state to change is the mandatory minimum amount of jail time attached to certain crimes. I'd like to see a policy Im implemented that eliminates the amount of offenses that mandatory minimums are eligible for. I want to give some of that discretion back to judges to be able to make decisions based on all of the facts and circumstances that are presented to them. Odom says change cannot happen without more support, and that's what her team and others are hoping to gain. We understand through policies we, we get there, and so it's a step-by-step -step process, and I don't think that we can ever sit back. ACLU leaders tell me they plan to continue campaigning for new policies throughout this legislative session. Greg, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you for that. We appreciate it. Starting to learn more about the police.